Okay, so the last thing to do on this uh, thimble project is to stamp the uh, the numbers on it. Stamping's pretty pretty simple process. You just get yourself some stamps with some characters on it, either numbers or letters, and put them on your part and hit it with a hammer. It's pretty simple until you have something like this where they need to be well aligned to uh, the graduations. Um, the problem with uh, stamping like this is there's there's all different. Uh, variables that come into play when you're lining up the stamp. You have you have location you have to worry about, you have uh, location in two axes, right, X and Y, and and also you have um, tip to worry about. The stamp can be tipped left or right or forward or backward. It can be rotated. Um, you know, there's all kinds of things that, that come into play for lining up this uh, simple little stamped number on here. So what you need to do is you need to come up with a fixture to make it come out right. You need to come up with some sort of fixture to take your fingers out of out of play. Okay, you need something to hold and locate the stamp without you having to hold on to it. So I'm going to show you. There's there's lots of ways to do that. This is not not something you can go and and buy. You know, it's just a, a setup that you put together. Uh, use your create creativity and something you put together according to whatever you have on hand. Just something to hold the stamp. So let's move over. I'm going to do this on the milling machine table just because it's convenient. There's lots of places to clamp things down. So let's move over to the mill and I'll, I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, so here's the setup I came up with to do this stamping. Um, really all it is is, is, is uh, fixturing parts from the mill, uh, hold down clamps and angle plates and V-blocks uh, with, with one exception and that's this piece of bar stock. Okay, what I did is just took a piece of half inch by two inch bar stock and milled a slot in it to hold the stamp. Okay, just a, a nice close fit on the slot. Okay, and then all this other stuff just locates the slot relative to the uh, part we're going to stamp, in this case the, the thimble. Um, I, the thimble's still on the, uh, the mandrel, so I'm just setting the mandrel in a couple of V blocks here. Um, as far as any, you know, this is, this is just stuff that I had around. Um, you're just going to have to dream up a, a set setup of your own according to what stuff you have on hand to, to do it. Okay, like I have a couple angle plates here. Um, the way I started out, I, I grabbed a couple parallels like this. Just something to uh, get this bar stock, piece of bar stock horizontal. I set a parallel under each end, um, set the bar stock on the parallels, and then clamped the bar stock to a couple of angle plates. Okay, then you see I have a, a parallel in the T-slot here to push the angle plate against it. Okay, that, that lines the bar stock up. Well, the parallels line it up this way, and then the piece of bar stock in the uh, table slot lines it up this way. So it gives us two axes of alignment on it. Then I put a, uh, a parallel here. Well, I, I grabbed a couple of V-blocks to hold the, uh, the part. And all I did is take the part out slide the uh, punch down until it's centered up in the uh, in the v-block like that and line the v-blocks up this way so the punch is centered on the v-block then I put a parallel against the side of them square to the table just squared it up to the table actually I think I put it over here and push the uh, push it against the side of the v-blocks to have sort of a reference surface so I could slide my blocks back and forth and line up the stamp so I clamp that down so you know that establishes the location of the uh, the v-blocks okay then I put the uh, the part in the v-blocks like this and slid them back and forth with this clamp loose to establish the location of the of the punch this way the, the number um, then once you get to that point of course everything's clamped down this back v-blocks clamped down and I have a clamp in it in the v-block to, to hold on to the mandrel to uh, keep the thimble from rotating as I'm working on it. Once you get to that point you can you can just uh, throw a clamp on your your stamp here and all you have to do manually is rotate the uh, rotate the thimble to get get it where you want the number to be you know lined up with one of the divisions. Okay that's the only thing you have to worry about. Once you get it to where you want it 
you know, get it lined up. It's just by eye. You just look at the graduation and line it up with the stamp, and you can lock down the mandrel, and that stops it from rotating. Then all you have to do is drop the stamp down against the thimble and hit it with a hammer. Okay, you don't have to hold anything. You don't have to align anything. It's all lined up by the fixed string. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, stamp the first division and see what it looks like. Um, let me change my camera angle a bit here so you guys can see what's going on a little better. Alright, you should be able to see what's going on a little better here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is, is line up my first division. I did that before, but I want to make sure it's exactly centered on the, uh, the first number. I'm going to start out with the zero. Make sure it's exactly centered on the, the mark. Right about there, I think. Just hold it in place and tighten down the clamp on the B block. And that should be good. So now all I'll do is just set the stamp down on, on the surface of the part, put a clamp on it to hold it in place, and hit it with a hammer. Okay, it's better for stamping like this, it's better to use a, a larger hammer than a small one so you don't have to hit it so hard. And with more more mass, a larger hammer is less apt to make make the stamp bounce and give you a, a, a double strike. So just just give it a doesn't take much. You know, just give it a little tap, about like that. The nice thing about this setup is, if you if it's not deep enough, you can go back and hit it again. So I'm looking at that. It looks pretty well centered, and the depth looks pretty good too. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, we got a zero. So let's move over here and do the do the ten next. It's over here. Ten divisions over. So that's a zero and a one. Now we have, we have two digits to align, two numbers to align. Let's do the zero first since we've got it out here already. So I want this to be a little bit to the right of the line. Oops. Make sure you get your, your stamp in the slot right. That would be embarrassing. Kind of hard to see here with all these shadows, but actually it's really hard to see. I'm gonna get another light here. Hold on a minute. Okay, that's a little little easier to see. So now I'll get the zero lined up for this 10 stamp. About there. Everything looks good. Let's tap that one. Okay. Now let's do the one. It's lined up pretty good. Okay, there's the 10. Looks deep enough. Let's go around and do the 20. Okay. And 
There's two in here somewhere. I think I grabbed them all. Yep. There. Okay, there's the 20. And we'll do the 30. Okay, where am I at? 30. Okay, then the 40. And this must be the four. Okay, that's about it. Let's see here. Okay, is it zero, ten? Get some light on the subject. I don't know if you can see that in the. Yeah, I guess you can see it. So that's the numbers. Not too bad. Like any other uh, setup, it takes longer to do the setup itself than to uh, do the actual work. But uh, the setup's important. So I guess we'll move on from here. We'll move on and we'll do the final assembly and check this thing out, see how it works. Okay, before we get too far, I noticed that uh, after I closed the last video, I noticed the stamps left a little bit of a mark on the chamfer here next to the neural at each number. So I think I'm going to go back in with a 45 degree cutter and just clean that shoulder up a little bit. And while we're at it, we can polish up the, the surface here that the number stamps are on and, and uh, clean them up a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're still in the mandrel. Okay, I put the mandrel in the chuck and I indicated the surface with the stamps on so it's perfectly concentric. Okay, then I uh, set my dial to zero on the cross slide so now we can just go ahead and Clean off the tops of those stamps. And bump this surface that uh, got marked with the stamps, the edge of the stamps. Just clean that up a little bit. That should be all it takes right there. Yeah, the marks are gone now. Now I'm just going to go back in with a really fine file and just clean up the surface a little bit with all the graduations and the stamps on. And finishing touch, we'll just hit it with a little scotch bright, Kind of blend it all in, make it look pretty. And there we go. That looks a little better. 
Okay, so now we'll move on to final assembly. See there, 